congratulations, you've made it to the day of closing and you're about to purchase your first flip. I really want you to make sure you review the closing statements and you understand everything that's on them. If you do not understand everything that's on them, you get with the title company or your agent or if yourself as agent and fully understand everything that's being charged to you. And remember, if you sign that document and that paperwork, you own everything that's on there. If you don't understand it, you simply saying you don't understand it is not an excuse. You need to understand it because this is going to be your business or this is going to be something that you're doing for a profit. You need to understand everything that's on that closing statement and do not be afraid to walk away. There has been times where I've walked away at the table because I didn't feel comfortable with whatever was on there and until they got it fixed, we weren't closing. Um, keep that in the back of your mind. Until you client sign on that dotted line, that property is still the bank's or that property is still that seller's and um, uh, you need to make sure you're comfortable with everything that's on it. And now the work begins. You own this property at this point. Um, you've done everything you can to collect scope of work, uh, get contractors lined up. I always, always line my contractors up for the day that I close and I make them all show up on the same day. Activity breeds activity. When you have 15 people swarming around a house there's just a certain energy that breeds and gets the job done faster. We, we inspect these properties daily. Um, at this point, you own the property, it's time to get them in to start doing the work. Get them in doing demo, get them in doing uh, painting, carpet removal, things like that. You need to understand at this point, every day that goes by, you are losing money. Every single day, that goes by, you lose money. You have to get your job done and you gotta get it done fast in order to be profitable in this business. There are holding costs, closing costs, there, there's a bunch of costs associated with you every day that that property stays on the market. So get in, hammer it out, get it done. The more pre-work you can do, the more pre-scheduling you can do with these contractors, the better. I also have a rule of thumb that if a contractor tells me they can't get to my job in two weeks, I find a different contractor. You, they have to be there the day that you need them. Uh, they need to make you a priority. This is your business, right? You're doing this flip. You're not doing this flip because you love these contractors. You're not doing this flip because you um, love anything else. It's, you're doing this business to make money for your family and your big why. So treat it like a business, run it like a business, and you run it. The contractors are not in charge. It's very intimidating sometimes with a gruff contractor. Um, they might try to um, get their way pushed over on you, and you gotta hold your ground. This is your business, and this is your um, livelihood. A really funny story about this was when I was first started flipping houses, I was pretty young. I was, I think, 22 or 23, and um, uh, I would go to these jobs, and I'd have contractors yell at me for, why am I not getting paid? And I would say, well, you didn't get your job done or you didn't do it right. Um, and uh, I would let them kind of bowl me over a little bit. And that's not right. What I started to do was then carry on the checkbook in my hand and everywhere I walked around, I had the checkbook in my hand and it just helped me mentally go, I'm in charge. And anytime I had an issue with a contractor, I just held it between me and them and realized that I'm the one holding that checkbook and uh, this will get done the way that, um, to my standards. When I was carrying around that checkbook, um, what it made me realize was that I was, the, I was the one that was truly on the hook for whether this thing was a success or whether this thing was a failure. I was the only one who was going to take this flip and make it a finished product at the end. It was my job, it's my business, it's my livelihood, my family, my big why that's on the line here with the success of this and there was nobody that was gonna get in between me and that. If you're buying this property and you're doing the work yourself, so you're not hiring any contracts, but the entire scope of the entire property is yourself. Is your handyman or you're in construction or you feel like you've, you have what it takes to complete this project by yourself. Just understand this one concept that it could take you six months, it could take you eight months, it could take you three months uh, to do all this work by yourself. Um, when you have a whole crew getting things done, you can get it done much faster. It does cost a little bit more. Uh, however, uh, the profits um, and your profits will be a little bit smaller, but you can usually accomplish a lot more flips in the amount of time that it'll take you to finish one.